This week across the country it is National Volunteer Week. To mark this occasion, and to lighten our mood in a week when the weather has been awful and the bar conditions have prevented us from doing our job on the high seas, we've let our hair down a little. I thought my voice might be getting boring, so we opened up voiceover auditions for some of our other volunteers. But with mixed results, so I'll not be giving up my day job anytime soon. But that's my opinion. See what you guys oh, think. It never gets me in it. Moving it, I'll never get you in it. You're you in it more than anybody else. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I want to show my grandkids. And I said, well, where's, where are you? For the first time in decades, Malulaba Coast Guard have suspended operations over the weekend due to dangerous silting across the channel entrance. The small dredger has been unable to keep on top of the sand buildup. The tricky channel entry was beginning to catch out even experienced local boaties. Crossing near low tide and at night had become too risky for all including our fishermen and our pilot boats that rely on passing in and out of Mulula Bar, day and night and at all states of the tide. On Saturday and Sunday our blue crews took our smaller boat Rotary 3 out to the entrance to observe conditions and report back to our executive. To add to our concerns we found that over the weekend the port channel entry light was not flashing. When this resumed the starboard failed also. As of Monday's observations these have now both been fixed. Although weekend training was curtailed, our crews did manage to get some touch and goes to pontoons and at various states of wind and tide. While others had a go at refueling and emergency drills and rafting, by Sunday, the weather began to improve and our crews discussed various options on how to navigate the bar should an emergency occur and we'd be requested to conduct an assist. Blue Sunday crew found the conditions had improved and decided to have another look at the entrance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, don't put that in the edit. <laughs> why not, why not, have a bit of drama? Yeah. With blue skies resuming, wind speed ceasing, it was clear that we should try to survey the entrance and bar crossing depths. This to try to re-establish possible routes in and out of the river. On Monday morning at high tide, Rotary 3 made several crossings testing out alternative routes. It is hoped that with improving conditions, MSQ will be arranging another survey and the issuing of a new and revised notice to Mariner's NTM in the next day or two.